If you are using the save state or set output workflow commands in your GitHub Action workflows, then you need to watch this video and go make some changes to your workflows. Here we go. Hey y'all, I'm Mickey Gousset, and in today's video we are talking about the deprecation of a couple of workflow commands, specifically the save state and set output commands. The save state command allows you to set environment variables as part of a step, and the set output command allows you to output values from a step that can be used in other steps. To avoid untrusted logged data to use these commands without the intention of the workflow author, these commands are being deprecated and a new set of environment variables have been added to manage state and output. You may have noticed that you are now getting a warning message if you use either of these two commands. Now this will continue until May 31st, 2023. Starting June 1st, any workflows using these commands via standard out will fail with an error. So why wait? Why not go ahead and fix your workflows today? Let's see what's involved in moving a workflow from using these commands to the new way of managing state and output. To demonstrate how to change over from using those commands to the new way of doing things, we're going to update my GitHub Actions presentation repository. Now, this is a repository located in the Mickey Gousset org called GitHub Actions Presentation. It's a public repository, has all my demos in it, has slides in it, has descriptions of the demos, source code. You're welcome to use anything in this repository. Now in this repository, I have a workflow called Variables and Context that I use to do a demo around variables and context. And one of the things I do in that workflow is I use the set output command. So let's run this and see what the results are when I run it with the current commands that are in there, which includes the set output command. All right, so we'll go into the variables and context, run, and job two is the job that's actually doing the, using the set output command. And if I go into job two and I look at one of the steps, you can see I get this warning. The set output command will be de is deprecated and will be disabled soon. Please upgrade to using environment variables. Okay, so let's see how we actually do that upgrade. So let's go back to our code tab and let's go to our variables and context, YAML. Now job two what job two is doing here is it's, it's outputting a value from the first step and it's outputting a value from the second step and then it's passing those step outputs and setting them as outputs from this job. And then job three is actually echoing out the values that were output by these steps and then output by this job. So we need to make a couple of code changes in order to stop using the set output. So let's go edit. And let's go down, and what we'll do is we will comment this out. And we're going to do another run command. And we still say echo. But this time, what we're going to do is say echo my variable name, step one value, equals whatever I want to set it to hello and then we're going to send that into an environment variable called github output that's it this is the secret sauce right here this github output so we echo a variable name and its value into dollar sign github output and that will set it as an output from this particular step. We do the same thing here on this one. So we'll say run echo 
step two value equal world. And send that in to the GitHub output. Again, GitHub output is a reserved environment variable that's used specifically for this method, for this method of being able to take set your take your values from a step or create step output values. And then up here you can see we're saying steps, step one, there's step one, outputs from step one, and in this case the output from the step, which was called step one value. So it should set these two outputs from the job. So then job three should output the outputs from job two and should write out hello world. So let's run this. So we'll go to actions and variables and context. And we'll run the workflow. And now on job two, we should see not get that warning message. And job three should still output hello world for us. So if we look at job two, we no longer get that warning message. That's good. And if we go to job three, it does output hello world as we would expect. So using the dollar sign github underscore output environment variable, or just the github underscore output environment variable, we can use that to set output from steps that then we can use in other steps. Now we're also, and that replaces the set dash output command. Now the other command that's being deprecated is the save dash state command, which is used to set an environment, var an environment variable in one step that could be used in later steps. Let's go see if we can just throw something together real quick to make that work. So let's go back to our, let's go back to our um, workflow file and go ahead and we'll add this into job two. All right, we're gonna add in We'll call it step three. We'll give it an ID of step three. And in this case, I want to set an environment variable. So I don't want to do step output, but I want to set an environment variable, which could be used by a later step. So I'm going to do a run command and I'm going to say echo. Again, it's going to be variable name equals variable value. So we'll say this is step three output equals please work and in this case we're not going to send it to the github output environment variable but instead we're going to send it to another reserved environment variable called github env so this will create an environment variable which future steps should be able to access so let's add a step, call this step four, and we will say, we'll give it an ID of step four just because we can, and in this case we want to do a run command, and in this run command we're going to echo out the environment variable that we created in step three. So we can just say echo dollar sign curly brace curly brace env dot environment variable name so step three output curly brace curly brace close quote so this should output the word or the one word please work so let's save our changes and let's go access and actions and run this one more time. And now in job two, we should hopefully see a save the 
a new out environment variable written out called please work. So there's step three. And step three is setting the environment variable. And then there's step four, which did output the word please work. Now, if you're using the set output and the save state commands right now, they're still going to work for you right now. Up until June 1st. On June 1st, they're going to stop working. So don't wait till the last minute, but go ahead and make the changes to this new way of setting output values or setting environment variables. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the deprecation of the save state and set output functions and the new way to handle state and outputs. If so, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and smash that bell to be notified of my next video. Thanks for watching.